Hello everybody and welcome back to Oak Hill. Now in the previous episode I ran a vote to see if we should do this in a competitive format or in a co-op format and co-op one, which I'm not surprised about. I thought it would be the best as well. So we're, go we're going to be doing a bit of teamwork now for this series. Having said that, I really am a big fan of the competitive style. So probably in the next map we're going to be going back to competitive. So what's happened is I have combined all the land together so everything that I owned, which is this piece and this piece, has been connected to the two pieces, or the two fields, or the two areas, which Chainsaw owned. So nothing's really changed except for the, the position that we're in. We're now on the same farm, and well, I suppose I have... We've, we've lost the money which we had on my Let's Play, and the machinery, that's gone. It's all been combined to Chainsaw's farm. But I did bring across the 6465. I just felt it was needed. Uh, so yeah, teamwork, let's see how far we can progress. Um, it's not like it's going to be super easy because we have now lost half of the money. Combined we started off with 4 million. And now we just have the starting off 2 million. And we're down to 767,000. Right, so yes, everything had to be reset. We could take a few things back to the yard. The same yard which we were in in the previous episode. So this is really episode one. I know that we have had a, a, a previous episode, but I'm going to call that episode zero, despite the title of the video. This is where we really start, because we know exactly what we're doing. Now the other good thing is because we have combined the two farms and gone to the starting farm, we actually have access to all of the animal pens again before none were showing up because we didn't technically own them even though we owned the piece of land they're on uh, so that has sorted that problem and it means that we can start with the animal farming if we wanted to there is a speed camera somewhere here so oh no 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 yes slow down <laughs> that's what I was trying to do uh, yes yeah, so the farm is just around the corner We'll get the trailer dropped off, but if you remember from episode one, episode zero, <laughs> um, I was putting the miscanthus in. I want to do more. So if we do have any more fields that need to be done, uh, we're going to put miscanthus in, but I think we probably do have to harvest some sugar beet or potatoes. Uh, so yes, leasing a machine is going to be wise, even though it's probably not going to leave us with much money. Right, much profit because uh, it's it's so expensive but at least it gets those crops out of the fields okay well here we are this is the farm which we finished off in in the previous episode so I just took a different way there are multiple ways to get to here which is quite nice uh, so yeah we'll just put that there and we're gonna have to go back to the store to retrieve something else so yeah very quickly we will get that done and then we will begin. We'll begin doing some farming. So that is everything back to the farm, which has to be back here. Uh, we actually did have the, um, the the Challenger on a long-term lease sort of thing. That was with my other farm, but I think it would be good to have it on this farm as well. Because although they are expensive, obviously they have the power. So we can do cultivation work and planting work fairly quickly. And I know it went down very well. I saw several comments saying... Thank you for getting the Challenger. So clearly it is a wanted tractor on this farm. But we won't get it until we need it again. But that probably won't be too long. Right, so let's just see here. Yeah, Chainsaw is in film 66. It's just been finished. He is probably going to go into 63, which is a barley field. 
this was a canola field. I'm going to go to field number 33 and get those potatoes harvested because I'm just determined to replace all the current crops with everything on page two of the fruit type. So all this different stuff. Um, yeah, so if I get a potato harvester leased, it's not going to be cheap. And £25,000 sounds tricky to recover that money. But we'll see. We're just going to have to find out. Um, it, it is a shame that the, re the rental fees on this game are so unrealistic. Uh, of course, £25,000 for a long-term lease is good. But that is the initial fee, plus hourly fees, plus daily fees. <laughs> so, yeah, that, that is just extreme. Hopefully they saw that for the next game. Uh, right, so yeah, we're going to get this done. Hopefully fairly quickly. I think we're going to have to sort out another trailer because the one trailer which, which we have, the Joskin trailer, is currently being used to transport the uh, the Orsid Rape and the Barley. And also the potatoes generate so much that we're going to need to have a pretty big one on standby since we do need quite a bit of space to store these. But the other reason for doing the co-op, the teamwork, is um, because we never see each other. So hopefully now we can see each other a bit more and it's not just like we're in single player. I think a few people were starting to believe that we weren't even playing at the same time because we never saw each other. At least in this we guarantee not getting a speeding ticket. That would be quite something if you ask to see a, some evidence of the vehicle that was speeding and you get that. <laughs> That would be crazy. This grass field here is another field that I want to buy, just because it looks so good. It is quite surprising that we don't own it. But then again, we chose the fields that we start off with. They come in blocks. Yep, so he's in field number 63. If I can maybe take the headland off, and then put onto a worker, then I can not only do some carting, but also some bailing. Really start to get ahead. And I think, yeah, to get to this field, we just drive... Well, it seems to suggest we drive through that field, but that can't be right, can it? Wait, the track does go through there. No, it doesn't. It goes round. Quite tight, but this is the field he's harvesting. There he is. And there is our field. I'm still getting used to this map, because I think I've just taken one of my long cuts. But here we are. Yeah, it's not a big field. Which is actually a bad thing. It's going to be even harder to recover money. But we'll be able to get it cleared and we'll be able to put the same crop in this field as we did in the one we planted in the previous episode and this one on the left here. All of which do need to be subsoiled or ploughed. Right, so hopefully it's yielded quite well. doesn't seem terrible. In the past we've used that triple size potato harvester and although it does look a bit unrealistic I'm quite a big fan of it because even with that it still takes a long time to harvest potatoes and sugar beet. Yeah that seems quite good. Already 27% full. So we'll just do as much as we can do before we fall, and then we'll go and buy a bigger trailer. I think it would be quite beneficial to have a lorry. Uh, we do have the money for, for a lorry, so that would be great. And over the next few episodes we're going to be adding quite a few mods into the series. Oh yeah, it does seem impressive, already 46% full. Before we take the headlands off. It is so tricky to manoeuvre.
Okay, so we are making some progress. If this had been a field which I was planting, I would never have put potatoes in here. It's just far too tight. Uh, but yeah, we've got to make do. Since they're here, we shall get them harvested. Well, I suppose I could have uh, done what I suggested in the previous video and just ploughed them up. Which is a wise idea if you already know how much money you're going to make. If we turn out making a, a loss here because of the price of the machine, then it would have been more cost effective just to plough this up. But yeah, we can't really judge how much money it's going to be worth. I find it hard to believe would make a loss. I don't think we would do. So I just have to go around the headland once more, and then hopefully a worker can take over. And we'll then move on to either baling or auto stacking. Just depends if Chainsaw has already started the baling, because I think he's got very close to the end of that field. I don't know how easy it would be to harvest miscanthus in here. I'm not going to go <laughs> obsessed with that crop, uh, but I do want to have enough to justify getting the forager. But we could put something else in. Onions, maybe. Okay, so we're getting more space. I'm just going to continue until the worker can take over. And then we'll try it and see if it will manage to run the harvester in this field. But it probably will get stuck. <laughs> they usually do. Well, as you can see, Chainsaw is here, taking over the potato harvester, which means that's, that's quite good, because it means after the headland he could do the middle section. The worker was not looking good <laughs> at all. Uh, so actually what I'm going to try and do is get that subsoil here, uh, because we can, we can start to convert the other field, the one next to us here. If we can get that ploughed, then we can get the planter into here, very soon and get one of the multi fruit crops so I put the subsoil in the yard I'll just go and retrieve it need to be careful with this tractor because it can go quite fast now the way to get to the farm quickly is just up here yeah I'll get used to it the, the road network of this map is very simple. It's the farm tracks. Those ones are going to take a bit of time to learn. Anyway, you can see the chainsaws field, the barley field, is all done, ready to be bailed. I would quite like to get the, um, the lorries. These. Because they look really good. I think they probably do auto stack, but I will probably just use the telehandler or front loader to make it look more realistic. Yeah, I'm sort of uh, regretting the colour choice I went for here. I suppose it blends in more with the tractor, but the default red was quite good. <laughs> don't know, what do you think of the colour of the subsoiler? It's like a creamy garlic colour. Oh, that was close. I've been very close to getting a fine. There's Chainsaw. Right. Okay, so this is the field we're going to start with. As suspected, the potato harvesting is taking a long time. It's just a really slow job, uh, which is why we've been over that times three machine. I think if we do any more kind of 
root crop harvesting, we will get the times three machine back. I feel that when we're using that machine, it feels just right for the amount of time it takes. I know that potato harvesting in real life is slow, but in farming simulator, it's just one of those jobs that you sort of feel like you want to get done faster to keep it fun. Yeah, this shouldn't take too long. I'm going to try and keep to the edges. And it will look really neat when I'm finished. And this tractor is one of Chainsaw's choices. Not something that we tend to buy, so it's quite good to have a bit of variety. As I mentioned, we are going to get more mods. If anybody has any mod suggestions, please do post down below. And also, in the description, there is a link to Chainsaw's video. So you can see everything he's been getting on with. Right, okay, so I think we're now ready to start going up and down the field. And hopefully we'll complete the field in about 10 minutes. go, that is our subsoiling completed. This food is now ready for the planter. I would imagine the trailer is quite full. Uh, we're going to take a look, see if it is. If it is full, then obviously we're going to take it to a sell point. We need to figure out which one is the best place for it. Um, but yeah, I think we normally play with the difficulty on easy, so I'm not too sure what it's current set to. Yeah, it's on normal. So, I've set it to easy. That's how we played competitive multiplayer. I put that on the front. So as Chainsaw unloads the harvester, we'll take a look for the best prices. And the garden centre is offering £676. Seems quite good. Uh, and that is a place that we know well. In fact, I think we went to the garden centre before. I want to go and take a look at the Miscanthus field and see if it's germinated. I'm sure it will have done. Uh, yep, it's 100%. So we'll head over there in just one second. It's germinated. If I just launch into the air, we can take a look. Uh, providing I know which field it is. Somewhere over here. Yep. It was uh, this one. Okay, it hasn't germinated. It's just on the first growth stage. So it's going to be interesting. Very interesting to look at this in the next episode. We may even be harvesting it because time does move quite quickly. For now though, we have 48,000 litres of potatoes to sell and we do still have maybe a third of the field left yeah I think it's going to pay off quite nicely if we were playing on normal difficulty I think we'd still profit but I'm not sure if it'd be worthwhile you've got to take into account the time as well uh, yeah so nice and simple drive to the end of this road, turn right and then I think we turn left and then right again. And that will bring us to the garden centre. Having a subsoil on the front isn't ideal. But I will try my best not to hit too many cars. They usually get in the way anyway. So <laughs> it's a shame that the cars don't respond like they did in FS09 where you can actually push them out of the way. In FS09 you can actually get a front loader, 
lift a car up and put it wherever you wanted and it would still try and get home it tries to get back to the nearest road quite funny but now they're just these solid objects which you can't even move at an inch which is a bit of a shame really I suppose it prevents glitches and stuff having vehicles all over the map that is heavy full speed Yeah, the reason why we haven't got the uh, the tractor unit for the lorry today is because I wanted to go for a different one. We'll hope to get a modded one instead of the usual Tatra or MAN that we get. Those base game ones. And here we are. The garden centre. They must need a lot of potatoes. So I suppose it's going to be in the region of £30,000, which immediately gets our money back for renting the harvester, unless it takes more than one hour, in which case we're going to get another fee. Thirty-two, four, seven, six, and we have more to come. Probably another twenty-five thousand pounds worth. Looks like we got about £15,000 for the final load, so it was worth it. It wasn't amazing, but then again, it's not a very big field. I don't think we went over the one hour time on the lease, so we should be okay, providing we return it in time. So I'm just finishing off here. Obviously we haven't made it into the barley field today, we're going to have to sort out the straw next time. Hopefully get the, uh, the straw lorry, the bell lorry, that'd be quite interesting, uh, and maybe Miss Cantus, maybe harvesting it. It looks like you used the maize headers, the sunflower headers, on the forager to harvest the Miss Cantus, so that's going to be interesting. I really do look forward to it. Never done it before, so it will be something new to the channel. I don't know how many of my viewers have done it before. If you have done, please do comment down below. Is it worth doing? How much money do you make? I guess I could take a look. <laughs> That's always a good way of doing it. Right, no sell point. So I'm going to have to look into that, into how you actually sell Miss Cantus. Uh, anyway, yes. Let's continue. Just a small piece left to do. And then we'll head back to the yard. And I think we'll wrap things up for today. If the reason why we can't sell Miss Canthus is because there's no sell point, then what we would do is we'll create a figure per 1,000 litres, and then we'll just do it the way that I do it in Vintage Survival. We just empty the trailer, and then times the number of litres, like say we have 44,000 litres, we would do 200 pounds times 44, and add it in that way. But since I've never done it before, there might be 
a, a different way of doing it. I, I just don't know at this stage. Maybe you ferment it, do you? I, I don't know. It's all very new. So, the subsoiling is done. Let's get that put back onto the front of the tractor. Ah, chainsaw's taking the trailer. Nice. So, we don't have to put it onto the front of the trailer. We can just go and park this back in the yard. See if we can catch up with him. Shouldn't be too tricky. Quite a speedy tractor, this. Not a bad view. And here we are. If we ever wanted to expand the yard, that would be the natural way of going into that field. So I'll pop it back in here. And we're done. So thank you so much for watching, hopefully you've enjoyed the video, and until next time, see you again very soon. Bye for now.